This is part of a progression. I remember when I got here in 1999 and first started dealing with these issues on the radio, uh, we were at that time talking about domestic partnerships. We need domestic partnerships, recognition in law. Oh no, that's not enough. Civil unions came up next, remember that? Civil unions, we need to be, have civil unions recognized in law. Not marriage, oh no, we're not asking for marriage. This is just a civil union. The arguments were made in front of state legislatures around the country. Uh, but guess what? Civil unions weren't enough. We need marriage. We need to redefine the institution of, that's the bedrock foundation of family and social structure for eons. We're going to redefine that because that's what we really need. Now it's redefined in many states. Guess what? That's not enough either because the message now is if you will not celebrate a same-sex ceremony, you will be punished. You will be taken to court. You'll be taken to a civil rights commission. You'll be put out of business if they can do that, you'll be fined, you may go to jail. Yeah, as one commentator puts it over and over again, and I think he's right, you will be made to care. And frankly, what the, uh, the final resolution or what the gay activist organizations are really after is the uh, coerced acceptance of, of uh, all of their actions, behaviors, and whatnot, um, and at the risk of penalties, fines, jail time in some cases if you fail. And so that's where that's the direction the country's headed. It's a sad it's a sad story to actually have to tell people. And the underlying dynamic here, and I've been to gay activist conferences, I've interviewed them on the street, uh, here's what it comes down to. They sincerely believe that, uh, well, they know that they're feeling pain, they hurt, but they sincerely believe that it can't be because of anything they're doing because their argument would be, I was born this way, this is how I was created, therefore. So then that pain they're feeling must be coming from you, the Christian, anyone who speaks out against what it is that they're arguing for in culture. So the, the goal of all of this is to get every Christian to stop talking about it, to, to use the force of law to change what's taught in schools, to raise children differently so that they have different attitudes about it. But the scripture doesn't change. <music>